The incredibly powerful D&D podcast, Just Roll With It, is releasing a new campaign soon called Wonderlust, and I'm excited for it, so let's draw some fan art. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ghost. I'm an artist and content creator that really likes yapping about my interests, so, um, welcome! But enough about me. Hi guys, so welcome to a di kind of different type of draw with me voiceover, but not really because I'm kind of just yapping again, but this time I have a topic, so isn't that great? Um, so today I'm going to be talking about my, 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 how my June's been going and specifically more of like my June obsessions, um, cause I'm neurodivergent and silly. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's all I've got. Um, and it's the end of June and whatever and yay July, yay art fight. 4th of July? Eh. Eh, whatever. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna talk about all the things that, um, kept me sane during the month of June while I was having extreme life changes and also, like, it's summer and I'm bored, you know? Um, first of all, my- I'm the type of person, um, when it comes to, like, safe foods, I'm the type of person that, like, I eat the exact same Thing every single morning and if it's slightly off I will sob um, same with my coffee both of those changed this month and I, I don't know what happened I woke up one morning and suddenly didn't want what I wanted uh, or what I usually like, eat and I, 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 I just went hey why don't I switch it up and I, I, I've never done that I've never done that I I've been eating sourdough toast um, with over easy eggs and then a iced vanilla latte every single morning for almost two years. And now it's like, it's not even like it's like slightly changed. It's like I, now I'm eating like everything bagels with cream cheese and, and, and pesto and I'm having like caramel pumpkin oat milk lattes I, I i don't know what happened I, I think i just i tried oat milk one time and started going crazy um <laughs> but that was really weird um i don't know it, it, it's just i don't i don't know what happened i don't know what happened but i'm chilling i love my bagels i'm recording this right before i'm about to go lovingly eat a bagel um just roll with it wonderlust that's what this entire speed rate is being centered around i'm so excited for this you have literally no idea i've been like yapping about this to like anyone that will listen because i'm so excited and i'm not a patron yet for just roll with it so i've never gotten to see bisley actually like dm because i never watched prime defenders um which i 100 percent really need to do especially now that it's all out i just need to like it's done right i think it's done I, I need to binge watch all of it that's that's mostly what i mean um I've never seen Bisley DM, and I'm really, really excited for it. And these character designs look so sick. Um, so yeah, I'm drawing, um, her name's Runt, I think, if I'm remembering right. It's gonna pop up on her character sheet probably any second when I look at it for a reference in here. But yes, Runt. <laughs> I was waiting for it to pop up. Um, yeah, but she's played by Grizzly, and I'm really excited. Um, I'm really, like, feeling- I, I had a prediction that he was gonna be playing a character very much inspired by Mei Hatsume from My Hero Academia, and, I mean, obviously, I haven't seen her yet, it comes out uh, at the time of recording this and hopefully uploading this. It's coming out Saturday. I mean, it's coming out Saturday either way, but it's coming out, like, this next upcoming Saturday. Um, but... I, now that like looking at like the character design, I'm I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling that I'm right. I'm like I tried to portray like kind of Mei Hatsume vibes in here, um, and I kind of hope that came across. I just I saw I saw purple in a design, and I had my I've had an apple pencil in hand, and I like blacked out, guys. And and now <laughs> and now we're here. Um, yeah. Oh, I also got the just roll with it dice right before they sold out and i'm really excited about them i'm really excited for them to come in um my personal flex is i literally took my 15 at work opened my phone ordered the just roll with it dice and then by the time i had finished ordering them i just walked back onto the floor like nothing happened um and because i knew that they had come out like i literally i like looked at our clock and was like oh crap they just dropped the dice and then i <laughs> <laughs> went hey i'm gonna go take my 15 and then just spent money 
but yeah i got them um yay me i'm really excited i think they look really cool and they were a lot cheaper than i thought they were gonna be i had made a deal with myself because like once again i'm not a patron i didn't know if it was gonna be like individual dice for each character like how critical role does or just one general set either way i had told myself i was gonna buy all of them so i'm very glad it was one decently affordable set because otherwise i would have been poor and not been able to afford um something else i'll share in a in a little bit that that's, that's a spoiler i'm trying to kind of go in order here a little bit um chapel roan oh my god sorry i know everyone and their moms is talking about chapel roan right now so i'm not gonna spend like too much time on it i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with her i'm so obsessed with her she's amazing i've been listening to like nothing but her non-stop and she's gorgeous and the looks that she pulls out for like gov ball oh my god sorry i love her i'm like oh, i won't i won't shut up about her to like anyone who will listen dude Ugh. she's just so cool um i keep seeing people say that she's an industry plant but like girl you're not gonna get like a government hating man hating lesbian on the stage saying that she refused to perform at the white house until they give everyone rights Sh you really think she's an industry plant you think they wanted her on the big stage no you're stupid anyways um i haven't listened too much this is just on the subject of more music i have not listened to too much of the new Billie eilish album um but i've heard parts of it and it's really really good um but i've just been continuously obsessed with ricky montgomery for a while and that's been what been what's going on with me um i saw him in denver back in march i believe march something um and i've been continuously obsessed with him ever since i mean i've always been but like now i can't stop listening to him you know always loved him um i was one of those people who would just start sobbing to like mr loverman in 2020 Mr. Loverman. My top song's always been Line Without a Hook, which I know is probably more basic, but um, I'm cool now because I'm older now. And my favorite Ricky songs are California and Cabo. Um, I've also um, really loved Unknown Phantom. He played that at my concert and then released it like a few days later. And it was, it, it's so good. It's so good. It's such a good song. Um, but I really like I really, really like, um, California. That's, like, my main... Ooh, love that song. Um, I got into reading out of nowhere. Um, apparently reading's fun when you actually have books you like. So, recently, I, I read Solitaire by Alice Osman and Dungeons and Drama by Christy Boy Boyce. Christy Boyce? Um, and I'm about to read Loveless by Alice Osman. Um, I'm really excited about that. I thought I hated reading. Obviously, I didn't. I just needed more, like, silly young adult romance novels um oh i was gonna also say my my big my big announcement this is not a big announcement this is just on the subject of earlier um when i talked about spending money on just for what it does i got dan and phil tickets and my life is amazing i have peaked i young me is like screaming and throwing things and dying because i got dan and phil tickets so yeah and then i think we're kind of wrapping up here um i just wanted to say i've been i'm trying to put a lot more effort into youtube um i'm posting i'm trying to post at least a little bit on a schedule but i'm working full time so that's kind of hard but i've been like trying to work a lot to do like little upgrades so like i don't know if you saw like well i mean i you saw it unless you skipped the intro and then you're kind of weird but um my new little animated intro thing i've started picking out some more music to put in the background of videos uh that kind of like more like fits my aesthetic i'm trying to like fit everything into like a like little aesthetic and brand with my like purples and oranges and yellows because for a bit it kind of felt all over the place and i was doing the primary colors and stuff which was really cute but like not the general vibe i'm trying to portray i'm just trying to portray like i'm trying to go for like 2000s Halloween, 2010s Halloween. Um, I want my entire channel to feel like when you log onto a video game and it's a Halloween event and everything is purple and orange and yellow now and just a little spooky. That's the general vibe I'm trying to go for. Um, hope that comes off and hope that comes across. Um, 
yeah, so I'm trying to put a little bit more enter like effort in. I did a little animated intro and I have a little outro that you'll see at the end here. Um, and I made some transition screens, which you're not going to see in this video just because they didn't really fit here, but you'll see them in more of my like vlog style videos once those come out. Um, yeah, and I'm just really excited to see the kind of new direction the channel's taking, and I hope you guys like it as well. Alright, so thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys like the speed paint. Um, hope you guys are excited for Wonderlust. I'm so hyped. I literally got work off for it. Um, if you want more me or my art, my other social medias are linked down in the description, and I encourage you to go check those out. Have a great day, everyone. Be cringe, be free, drink some water, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.